most satanic music video I have ever seen. I don't know what Justine Timberlake is up to, but this is dark. And I hope this is not being filmed inside of a church. Because once he enters this building, we find out that this is some secret party and he is quickly greeted with his alter ego. As he watches over him, we are then greeted with the devil herself who invites him to come dance. He then starts to riz her up, but then it gets dark very quickly. She scratches his face, which represents the possession and- Hey fam, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. We're back y'all back with another reaction before we get into the reaction y'all be sure to hit that like button y'all we're the algorithm it's my own damn fault right i did it to myself but the algorithm man we're taking we're getting beat down by youtube yeah I, I need the youtube gods to start blessing us at the k family over here y'all show them what we're about so be sure to hit that like button show some love let's get into the reaction Dude, you guys showed me, I, one of you showed me the commercial from back in the day. Dude, that fucking com that commercial is insane. What? Because it looks amazing. What? There's an old commercial from the 90s of like an uh, alien reptilian. And this thing is like spot on. Spot on. And a lot of people yeah. s say like this is like really an old commercial Dude. that featured a reptilian. I'm telling that, you. That like time passed and we just forget about when it. When I see it, I'm telling you. Like, when I look at it on the phone, it creeps me out. Hey, little dude, send your mom and daddy out of the room. I gotta get you up on this. You know who I am. Snake, dealing in weed, coke, crack, your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. Steal from your mama, lie, cheat on your homeboys. But hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes. Now, I think more than a reptilian, like that was Satan <laughs> talking to us, right? Look like it. You know the story behind why we make movies in Hollywood in the 20s? Do you but know how this happened? would hire the Jews. So the Jews went out and made Hollywood. <laughs> but where did they escape from? Where did they leave? And who dictated the rules? Do you know Wait. who dictated the rules of Hollywood and movie making? Who? A guy named Thomas Edison from Jersey. They left Jersey. Because Thomas Edison had all these guidelines of making stuff that you have to do. You have to go through this. You have to go through that. They controlled all of it. You can type in Thomas Edison, 1920, Jersey, Hollywood, leaving. You'll see the article. So they go to Hollywood. Edison, like the light bulb? Like the Edison, Edison. Yes, Edison. So did you Edison. Find it? Did, 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 you, did you find the article, Edison? Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah, so Edison, the light bulb Edison guy, yeah. forces the creatives. I'm like, dude, let me alone. Let me just go make what I want to make. Why are you doing this to me? Let's go find this one city called Hollywood. They go to Hollywood. In 1920, 95% of all motion picture movies were made in Hollywood. They gave the double to Jersey and to Edison. They go to Hollywood. They make the movies today. Yep. Wow. Thomas Edison drove the film industry to Hollywood. Wow. They left him. So here's what's crazy. From 95% of motion pictures being built in Hollywood to now 50%, 55%, people are leaving Hollywood to different cities. They're sick of this game that's being played. So people forget, like, go back and figure out why Hollywood started in the first place. Because you made it too difficult to make movies here. Now you're doing it again. Okay, Joel Osteen, fuck you, Osteen. <laughs> if you want an example of how Christ wanted us to live, it would be Mattress Max. And not Joel Olstein. I don't know who. Capitalist and part social worker, and this is what I like to do. Everything going all right? Yes, sir. You need anything? No, sir. Jim Mackingvale, aka Mattress Mac, has made a name for himself selling furniture, but it's his legacy of giving that's going to leave a permanent impression. Now, I'm worried about these people. I'm worried about the business. I'm worried about the community. Sunday, he posted via social media that two of his gallery furniture stores would be open, not for business, but to provide shelter and food for people in need. Valencia Grace and her son Jalen are now among the hundreds of people who've taken up shelter in one of Mac's stores. It's good to be here away from the flood because it would have got, it would, when it started raining, it would have got all the way right here. The water um, started to come in the house and it was coming in so fast we had a matter of time to get out the house. Grace and her son got in one of the trucks that Mac deployed to rescue people from the rising flood water. He's also providing food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the evacuees. We thank Mr. Mack for opening up his doors to us because we didn't know where our next meal was going to come from or, or clothes on our back. Mack estimates it costs thirty dollars or $40,000 to keep his stores up and running through the crisis. We can afford that, and what we can't afford is to cause these people to lose hope. we got to give them hope. This is what my parents would have done. 
His record of community service would make his family proud. I used to be a Joel Osteen fan, right? I used to read his books, but you know, seeing him lately, like I just can't trust somebody that when these floods happened, he closed his NBA stadium down, right? His church, he wouldn't let people go in there. Plus he's got all this plastic surgery. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just can't, I can't, I can't listen to somebody when they have plastic surgery, when real times of crisis come, they close their shop down and like this dude's doing all he can y'all. And unfortunately, Joel Osteen just keeps going. Can't stand these politics. Most satanic music video I have ever seen. I don't know what Justine Timberlake is up to, but this is dark. And I hope this is not being filmed inside of a church. Because once he enters this building, we find out that this is some secret party. And he is quickly greeted with his alter ego. As he watches over him, we are then greeted with the devil herself, who invites him to come dance. He then starts to riz her up, but then it gets dark very quickly. She scratches his face which represents the possession and everyone on the dance floor turns into demons him and his alter ego then make eye contact with each other like what have you just done and then the devil arises she spreads her wings looks at him right in the face and all the other demons worship her. she then drops this black liquid from her mouth onto him and then this is where things just get wild everyone then gets this red liquid on them they start doing stuff with each other and honestly it's just extremely creepy at the end of the party his alter ego buries his old self in the trunk he then gets in the car with the devil her eyes are possessed they turn to him and then his eyes become possessed like these are the people that are winning in this world not even going to say country right in this world these are the people that have the influence right i don't understand it where it's hell on earth hell on earth Guy was at Super Bowl halftime performing, Grammys. That's what you have to do to be successful. I'm not gonna say successful, but to be a big influence, right? Unfortunately, that's that's what you got to do. But if you look sure. at the world, the World's Fair mm -hmm. there in the 1900s, there's some really weird shit around that, like about what? the structures that they built over them. They were supposed to take down in mm -hmm. some of these cities about some of the technologies that were used in some of the uh, the architecture and how some of that architecture isn't standard with uh, many of the other buildings of the same era, what they were doing on top with free energy possibly on some of these buildings. Hmm. It's pretty wild stuff. So like free energy, like Tesla? With, with Tesla like they were able to uh, extract energy from the atmosphere, um, that uh, electricity for, for everybody. I think they had, uh, and you can maybe bring some up, Jamie, but they had... I believe they had mercury in these, uh, was it copper um, kind of balls on top of the buildings? And they, were, they figured out a way to extract um, energy just from the, uh, from the air. And, really? Yeah. So where'd you read this? Just online. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of See, and then we got Aaron Rodgers coming out. Speaking the truth, speaking knowledge. Tarnishing his legacy, y'all. We're doing that. And then you got Justin Timberlake over here getting spit on and scratched by the devil. He's probably going to win a Grammy for that music video. American people are the biggest slaves of any citizenship in the entire world. Because the American people are the only people that are told, go work super hard, go take a massive amount of your life, and we're going to take at least half your money. And when we take half your money, we're going to send it overseas, or we're going to mismanage it, or we're going to send it over here for quote unquote aid. Where's our mother? Where's our aid from Kuwait or any of these other rich countries to fix our homeless problem? You ever notice that none of the other citizens on the planet work so that we can have a better here in America? It's always the other way around. Why the fuck are we, the citizens of the United States of America, financing the well-being of every other fucking country in this planet? Until people wake up to that and say no more, shit's gonna continue. This land of the free. That's a fucking joke. Land of the motherfucking worker bees is what we are. And unfortunately, the masses, I'm not gonna say everyone because we're awake over here, right? The masses, they ain't gonna wake up because they're at those drive throughs partying every weekend, worshiping these Justin Timberlake videos, 
not knowing their subconscious mind is being affected to stay asleep and continue funding these people overseas, right? I really think it's time for me to take a trip overseas, um, go somewhere. I don't know where. People that have traveled overseas, I don't want to say like England or something like that because that's still Western society, right? I would like to take a trip somewhere just to see what it's like. I hear stories of people that do and they just say it's different. Like people don't see color over there. They they see you as, oh, you're American. Like those are the Americans, right? They don't see like, oh, that's the Mexican. That's the white boy. That's whatever. You know what I mean? So I would like to go to another country, try the foods and just see what it's all about. And um, I would really love to move somewhere else, but I'm too close to my family. Y'all. I don't think I could do that, but uh, maybe one day. Um, it's definitely complex and it's moving in the wrong direction. Right. You know, I've been paying attention to uh, these companies that are buying up affordable housing. This is why I yeah. want to get out of here. Like BlackRock and Zillow. Yeah, that's scary. It is scary. That's scary because if they can move the entire country into renting, like that's no, right. Nobody can own anything. Well, that's what they want to do. Right. That's what I'm saying. They if don't want get, anyone to own anything. If you get a, a giant majority of the population that are just renters, that don't ever own property, they never have their own real, real home. Yeah. And then you make sure that you control their wage because you have massive corporations, whether it's Target or right. Amazon or whatever, and they limit the amount of possible growth you have within a company. Yeah. And there was that article, you'll own nothing and be happy. Yeah. Oprah. J Lo, J Lo, A Rod, A Rod, Will Smith, Will Smith, <laughs> Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys. I'm looking for this pretty hit, Black King God, dude. Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, Snoop, Snoop, DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled, Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats, Kelly Rowland. That's going to get interesting as the days, months go by following this Diddy thing, y'all. You're saying he's the Epstein of the hip hop culture. I'm here for it. What's going on with Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro? Like, what did she say? I want to know what what she was fired for. Because was it criticism of Israel? Was it, I mean, did she show that Edward Snowden video that he put up on Twitter that shows them oh, maybe. drone bombing those kids that are those men, I should say, unarmed people that were walking towards the rubble that yeah. clearly weren't causing yeah. any danger to anybody? Yeah, right. They just bombed them. Yeah, no, it's your duty. It's just like for Biden or whoever you like, you're supposed to cover up for them. Because but the whole thing yeah. is like they're always saying they're only targeting Hamas and everybody else is a casualty. Well, if those guys are just unarmed civilians and they're walking alone, that's what they appear to be. Dresden. And you just blast them from the sky with robots. This is the tragedy of war. Yeah, this is insane. And no one knows what to think now because if you can't talk about that, if you can't say that's real, then you're saying that genocide is okay as long as we're doing it. And that is what we're saying. And if you're saying that from a perspective of someone who literally went through the Holocaust or your your people, your tribe, went through the fucking Holocaust and now you're willing to do it? I hope the irony's not lost on you. It, 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 it's so nuts. It's so hard to imagine that someone where a, cul- a culture, like a country was like officially founded in what, 47? 48. 48? Okay, officially founded. So that's so recent. <laughs> And you, and you guys are willing to do what was done to you that led you to believe that you needed to start your own country? You're yeah. willing to do that at least on a small scale in Gaza? Like, there's... Here's the ocean. I told you I was going to put some stuff on here. Look at that. Trip. Barracudas. Look at all those fish. It's a trip, y'all. Oh.
parks out at night. If I were to choose to live my life over again, I wouldn't live it in this way. Do you know Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Okay. Not personally. No, no. <laughs> the book. Uh, the end of that book would bring tears to my eyes for years. Christopher Robin has to go to school, and he's telling his friends. Listen to the wise, y'all. Listen to the older. Don't make the same mistakes they made, right? I'm good at that. I'm very good at learning from other people's mistakes. The toy animals that he won't be able to play with them so much anymore. And what I wasn't aware of when I went to medical school and when I was a physician is how driven I was to justify my existence in the world. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. When you're driven to work too hard, you actually ignore what matters. And what matters is what you were telling me last night about how every summer you take a bunch of weeks away from your podcast and you just spend time enjoying your kids and your wife and your family. I didn't do that. I always felt they had to keep working. And the book ends with the statement, and whatever they do, or wherever they go in the enchanted forest, the little boy and his bear will always be playing together. And that phrase would bring tears to my eyes for years. People sacrifice their playfulness, yeah. their joyfulness, being driven by unconscious needs to validate your existence. Then where does that come from? Again, that comes from childhood trauma. Play is so important. And joy is so important in that sense. We can always keep playing in the enchanted forest. And that's just essential, I think. Now, I'm a big believer. Like what I do, I got a little budget I follow. I'm all about not barely getting by, but I don't need a bunch of materialistic things, right? This was a gift. Thrift shop gift, right? I don't, I don't need a bunch of materialistic things. I'm more about my free time. So I go make my money. I know I need to make. I got some spending money, right, to do on myself. I can go buy a couple plants every week or, you know, I don't count that as oh, with food or groceries or nothing. That money is just for me personally. No, it ain't much. It's like 60, 70 bucks a week, right? But I'd rather have my free time and have all day, like go to work in the morning, be done by 10, 11 and have all day to do what I want, right? To be free. Instead of make all this money work to drive this luxury car, right? I'd rather have my free time and drive my little 2008 truck. Got the Statue of Liberty, it looks like. In chains and shackles. I don't know where this is at. It doesn't look like America. It looks like they got a Satan float back back there so this is one of those weird parades family there you have it there you have today's reaction hope you guys enjoyed it like i say y'all let's hit that like let's spam the like share it i'm trying to get back out there y'all we're, we're gonna get there but uh you know patience is key right so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction i'm gonna be back tomorrow with another reaction i'll see you guys then hope you guys have a good day later